Good afternoon, designers, and welcome to this week's episode of Game of Rugs. You are essentially the first people I've spoken to in about a week because I made a terrible mistake and I watched Bo Burnham's Netflix special called Inside. And then I just basically went to bed for a week. So depressing. Thanks, Bo. Um, is, also, is anybody like concerned? Is is Bo Burnham okay? Yikes. Anyway, uh, here we are today to uh, design fake houses with fake furniture in our capitalist society. So that's great. Uh, speaking of capitalism, I would like to say that it's very nearly the end of the month and I have 11,000 diamonds up there and I've never spent so little money on Design Home as I did this month. I checked my play. I'm an Android user, obviously. I checked my play receipts from Google Play and I've spent $21 and some change. That is a lot easier considering that I did not... Uh, I only bought one... 199 bundle and 1299 bundle and these are fine. I I I'm not spending 399 on stuff that's like only okay. I bought the rug. Oh shit. No, I don't want to buy that. Thank you. I just wanted to see it. Is that can we do that? No. Okay. I bought the rug from this bundle because the rugs from the $3.99 bundles are available in the store. As far as I know, that's the only thing available in the store. So I like the rugs. I, it doesn't go with anything I own. But I do not need any more turquoise green furniture, thank you. And the stunning slate, is it's it's fine. But it there's nothing exciting and original in there, so... I'm not buying those bundles either. And given that, that I'm not buying bundles this month, I would just like to point out that I have a 4.70. Thank you very much. We all like free diamonds. Um, I have a 4.70, which is super interesting. It's a, that's, a, that's a high score for me. So here's my here's my point about the what are they calling them? The stunning slate. Like I could have put the I'll show, I could have put other artwork on the walls and used this furniture and it would have looked like stunning slate. I mean there's just nothing interesting there. I do really like the chandelier in this room though. It's super cool. And sometimes I say things like it's super cool. I wouldn't want to have to dust that. You guys, I don't dust shit. I've definitely not dusted. I dusted... Well, okay, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I did not dust anything through the entire pandemic. And then two weekends ago, I went ham for the house cleaning. But I had to... It was at the point where there was just, just like... We were past... We were past dust to the point of crud. And so I had to take everything out of the bookshelves and wash them. So does that count for dusting? What a nice room. What a nice room. Look at this. This is so interesting and so exciting. Because all of these rooms are very similar to mine. Um, and they're not, they're not that great. In this sort of L shape on the upper left hand corner. But there are some ones in here that are, that are a little different. I, I admire this generation that has come to the conclusion that you can mix brown and black. Good for you, motherfuckers. I will not be doing that. Uh, sure. I mean, it's a vibe. Good for you. Also, it's my point is just that they're different. And, and, and I love this one because it's very different than all of the other ones. And a weird choice to put that tropical orange um, in to a, what am I trying to say? Sorry. 
Yeah, no, so they went with tropical, they used many elements from the tropical orange bundle in this very industrial urban setting. Just interesting. Good for them. Okay, Harmonious in Toronto. Yeah, I was not feeling this. I actually think a 4.47 is probably a little high for this ugly room. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed. Let's just move to on. Did anybody else get... I did win a bench. That's nice. It's probably the only reason I took part in this room. I can't even remember. And... I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty ugly room. This is the least offensive, and it's still pretty fucking offensive. Oof. Oof. Ugh. All right. Dress to the nines. Woohoo! Nice. Was this an elite or something? Maybe it was. I can't remember why I did it. Sorry, I was just having a nice swallow of coffee. It was, this is a very unexpected result. I can only imagine that all the rooms that were submitted for this were a bit rubbish, maybe? I don't know. Yes, thank you for sharing your snoring with us, Frank. Like, this is much more like the kind of room I thought would have would score well. I did not think my room was going to be one of them. Um, what else do we have here? Also this, very predictable, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Super predictable. How did she get that art in this room? This art came out, oh, I guess this art came out the day this room was due. Okay. Well, it's still really nice to see um, rooms that uh, scored fives and, and were top designs without using the limited edition sets. Nice. Okay. And Phoenix Pride. Surprising. Because I don't know what the the rug was for this. I think there might have been a teal thing going on. I didn't buy it, whatever it was. We did win a rainbow table. So, happy pride. It is also nice to see Design Home broadening its... Um, I don't know if you if you've played for a while, you'll know that holidays like Pride used to go by uncommented upon. So yeah, we all went. Everybody went turquoise. I think did the room want a turquoise couch? What were I, what was even the requirement for this room? I never know. If we if we click this, will it tell us? No. Okay. I'm sure there's a way to find out. I don't really care. Anyway, this is the rug that I bought. It's a nice rug. Alright, everybody's room looks exactly the same. So that's fine. I guess I bought the rug after I did this room. Who knows? Anyway, we have that. And then uh, we have... Hold on, I just want to see where I use that stupid rug there I guess oh why am I making bad life choices I did this I did this this is a thing that I did oh so embarrassing anywho weird weird five right so here's our daily Oh, look, it's a chair I don't want to win in a room that I hate with my least favorite color. Fab. Right. I mean, those are kind of tealy. Sure. And then if I put that on the floor, great. And then, like, I, this would be so nice, but I don't have the stuff to pull it off. I love that. I mean, there's no anthro furniture I don't like. And I love that. 
but I don't have any chairs that would go with it. Probably. Do I even have two of these? Do I need chairs? I mean, my instinct would be to do this. Do I have chairs? That would go. This game, I can limit by color, but this game has a difficult time deciding what's green and what's turquoise. So let's just filter for, how many of these do I have? If I put these in, is that a thing? I mean, no. But it does go. Who made these? Anthro Living. Okay, let's look for Anthro Living chairs. Brand. Anthro Living. What if we put these in? I mean, that's not the worst thing ever, but I really... I, I kind of want to save these, um, why can't I remember the name of the word? These are the chairs that go with it. But I'm not paying diamonds for chairs. There are plenty of chairs in the world. That's, that's very cool. Um... You can see I'm super, super decided about what I'm doing here. Do I have any idea? No, ma'am. What about those? All right, let's just filter by green. Color, green. Um, and I have one of these. What about this? Ugh, what about that? Sorry, I'm struggling here. I can't imagine that watching this is interesting, but people keep asking me to do the daily, so here I am doing the daily. All right, we're gonna uh, go with that home, home chair if I can't find something else that matches better. I feel like I should be looking at, oh, thank God, what about that? Yes, thank you. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it gets the job done, fab. Um, if it, if you hear the, if you hear a sound that sounds like buckets of water being dropped, it's, it's my mastiff having a drink and flooding my kitchen, bless her. West Elm. There we go. Okay, fine. Great. Okay, and then we're going to need a coffee table that's like gold. No, nobody nobody wants to talk about any of these colors. We could put that in, but everybody will use that coffee table because they just want it. How about that coffee table instead? That's fine. You can tell I put a lot of effort into dailies. Like, I, basically, do I care? No. I just want to get in and out of here without completely traumatizing my poor scores. Will you, will you go? Will you match? Not really, no. What about you? One that's more white would be better. Oh, yes, please. Hey, Rox, how you doing? Yep, and then we're going to stick in this. We could also stick in 
this, but I like that better and I'd like to save it for rooms that are not dailies. So I'm going to stick that in and then we're going back to the tan version of this. Um, okay. And then we're going to put, what is this? I know I have a matching, an anthro living, I'm pretty sure I have the matching coffee table. I do not have a matching coffee table. It looks like another brand. No, Frank, don't bark. Okay, what if I do material? I swear, I swear I have the t a table that is so, so similar to that. I mean, this is fine. I'm just annoyed because I think I, what is this? Can we use this? That's a thing. Okay. And then we need a chandelier. Oh, how about that one? Okay. Um, and we need some floor doodads. <sighs> the stress. I'm looking for the big, <clears throat> excuse me, the big floor vases, these things. Okay, and we need a tree. Do I have a purple tree? I do not. Okay, and then we'll put this in over there, a the little plant and some table stuff that limited edition petite purple thing in and then I can stick this in there or we could put a, we could try to put a lamp a material ABCD uh, metal like a tall thin most of the lamps are excuse me Roxy that's not your dinner don't eat his breakfast she has many things. Stealthy is not one of them. Okay, nope. We're just gonna we're gonna go with this. I don't know. About, the art is a mistake now, but I don't have anything else really. I could do that. It's just gonna look super empty though. So uh, we're we're gonna go for it. Submit design. Great. Okay. Well, that's it. And then we're going to. Um, we're gonna... Oh, it's all going on here. Rocks. The big dog is eating the little dog's dinner and the little dog is shouting about it. Okay. So. That's, let's, I wanted to do one round of voting because people like voting. So I guess we're gonna do this round of voting. Wow, this room on the bottom is really nice. I did a room um, that's like this, but I did not have whatever that soup. What? What is this? What? What is this? What is this? Nice. Old? Or is it from this? I don't know. It's really nice. Okay. That's, that's lovely. So we're voting for that room. Good job, Designer 403. And I guess we're going to go for the room on the bottom because uh, it has a rug and stuff. People are like, I've seen rooms in voting and the, like they're not very good and the score is so high. But that was those both of those rooms scored a 439. And one was much better than the other. And it's because the voting is ongoing. Room on the bottom. I don't really like the rug with the art that was chosen on the top. I'm not sure I would have chosen that wine art on that black wall. And also all of the t on the top and all of the tones on the furniture do not go together at all. Um... 
we have two distinct colorways happening there. Um, the room on the bottom is at least more uniform. I know people hate that rug. I don't care. I love it. And oof, I guess we'll go for the room on the bottom. I don't know what the room on the top is doing with its purple and white floor cushions and all this green stuff. Like, no ma'am, no. So I guess we're going to vote for the room on the bottom, even though it's disappointing. And I suppose, really, that's it. Um, sorry it's been noisy, but thank you for joining me and sticking it out. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more episodes of Game of Rugs, please feel free to become a subscriber. We'd love to have you. Bye now.